Welcome to Keystone Retaining Walls Tech Talk and Webinar Series. This is Tech Talk number seven, covering SRWs and the use of no fines concrete backfill in the design and construction of a keystone retaining wall. I'm Keith Miller, Technical Services Specialist, presenting our topic. If you have any questions following this presentation, please contact me via email at keith.miller at keystonewalls.com and be sure to check out our other Tech Talks and webinar presentations. This video will discuss the use of no fines concrete in lieu of standard site soils, granular backfill, and geogrid to reinforce a retaining wall. No fines concrete is a permeable concrete mass that is made by eliminating fine aggregate component in concrete, which creates a significant void structure within the concrete. Material is placed in a semi-liquid state, allowed to harden in place, with minimal compaction and placement work required to level material and fill all the voids. Typical applications, we're gonna use it to minimize excavation requirements, where we have property line restrictions, where you might have utilities or other obstructions behind the walls. Maximize your gravity wall applications, can be used as an alternative to large block gravity wall systems, and it can also be used in a reinforced wall design as a seamless transition from that reinforced wall design into a no fines design. Typical design guidelines. Installation uses their standard wall SRW wall installation techniques. Stability design is going to be based on NCMA design manual for segmental retaining walls for sliding and overturning. Typically, no fines concrete design is going to be used in gravity walls that are between 3 and 11 feet tall. Walls below 3 feet tall are generally considered gravity block walls themselves. And above 11 feet tall, the economics of the no fines concrete wall typically don't work out. Typical depth to height ratio for the no fines is going to be somewhere around 0.4 H or 0.4 the height of the wall. This is going to depend on loading conditions at the top of the wall and the soil type and properties of, of that soil that you're retaining behind the wall. You will also want to wrap all this backfill with the filter fabric to prevent fine migration from the soils into the no fines backfill. Typical mixed design is gonna be Portland cement, type one or type two. Aggregate size is gonna be number 57 or number six stone equivalent. Aggregate cement ratio is six to one by weight. Water to cement ratio, about 0.35 to 0.45 by weight. Employees void ratio is 20 to 30%. In place unit weight, 110 to 120, 130 pounds per cubic foot. Compressive strength, 1400 to 2000 PSI anomaly at uh, 28 days. No fines concrete shall consist of Portland cement, water, half inch to three quarter inch coarse aggregate. Fly ash may also be used as part of the mix design as required. The concrete shall be mixed by machine in the qu quantity of water use shall not exceed that's required to completely coat all the aggregate particles without forming an excessive grout. Basically a concrete mix design, less water, and without the finer portion of the standard concrete mix design. With the open structure of the no fines backfill, the in-place mass will allow water to freely flow through the backfill and provide a solid mass structure of concrete effectively making the facing block in no fines concrete act as one solid mass. Design estimating assistance is available through standard design charts or using Keywall Pro design software. For basic guidance, this design chart shows typical wall heights from 3.67 feet tall to 7.67 feet tall with three different soil types, clay, sand, and gravel. Depth of the no finds is going to be based on a depth from the front of the retaining wall to the back of the no finds concrete. With no load at the top of the wall, a 7.67 foot high wall, gravel backfill, your no finds depth is going to be three feet deep. With an average sand backfill, it's going to increase to three and a half feet. And with a clay type soil, we're not going to recommend doing that type of a no fines design. Typically for a grid reinforced wall of this height, 
would require five foot grid lengths. So you can see going from five feet to three feet, we possibly save a couple feet on our reinforced wall design. No finds applications can be designed using Keystone Keywall Pro design software. If you're not familiar with Keywall Pro software, you can go to keystonewalls.com slash software resources to download the program. There is a nominal fee of $10 for the program. You can also check out our PDF resources and webinar on the use of Keywall Pro software if you're not familiar with using the program. When using the Keywall Pro program for no finds retaining wall design, you set up your design parameters like you normally do for a GeoGrid reinforced design. You put in your design criteria, pick your wall unit type, you put in your reinforcement type, you, your soil conditions. If you have any extreme events, you station out the wall or profile out your wall. Uh, once that is completed, the program will create panels. From there, you want to input your loading conditions specific to your site. And then you get to the design tab. Once we get to the design tab, here's where uh, we, we end up changing uh, from our standard design to a no finds design. On the design tab, you'll notice a small little checkbox. Um, click that to use the no finds design. Once you click that, it'll bring up um, our no finds design chart. We're going to blow that up for you here. So in this application, what we're doing, we're doing a wall that is 8.33 feet in height. The no finds is going to come in at one foot less than the height of the retaining wall. So a design height of 7.33 will populate and the depth will be 0.4H, the wall height. The minimum depth can be set in the design criteria tab. This gives us a system depth of 4.5 feet. You know, weight for this material is going to be 115 pounds per cubic foot. Once that is in, we click the set button and then we click the generate button. This will generate our retaining wall design and our calculations uh, based on our 8 foot, 8.33 foot height, a 4 to 1 slope at the back top of the wall, and clay soils uh, of 28 degrees for the backfill. You can also change the depth of your no finds if you want to increase or decrease it. And that is done by clicking on the depth button here. You're probably not going to be able to decrease uh, the, this in this case because our factor of safety for base sliding is 1.5, which is barely above the 1.5. If you want to increase it and run analysis based on an increased depth, say four feet, you can adjust the depth and click the set button and analyze a panel and it'll give you the calculations for that. Comparing a, a no finds design to a grid reinforced wall design with the same soil and low pr loading parameters, we can see using a design with the shortest grid lengths, the grid can vary from five feet long to eight feet long. If we use uniform grid lengths, our grids would be eight feet long or two and a half feet longer than required, the required minimum using the no finds design. Once the design is completed, the Keywall Pro program will show the block type used, calculate the quantities for wall length, number of pins required, its face area, and its cap area, and then give you a total wall area, face and cap. It will also provide the amount of concrete needed to fill the concrete uh, voids in the cores of the block, and then the amount of concrete required uh, to uh, fill the area behind the wall with the no finds concrete. And remember, these are neat quantities. There's no waste involved in these. Now that we've completed our design with the no finds concrete, it's time for installation. The leveling pad, drain pipe, block placement, leveling, and subsequent courses will be installed just as you do with the standard type retaining wall. The, different lie, the difference lies in the backfill, a concrete versus a soil type backfill. The no finds concrete is mixed in a ready mix truck, brought out to the construction site and then placed mechanically using a backhoe, front end loader, or a skid steer. 
Equipment type used will be based on wall height, possible straight site restrictions, and the reach of that piece of equipment. Remember, you are placing aggregate mixed with water and cement, so you want to minimize how much handling you have to do in its concrete backfill, so it's starting to harden as it's being placed. Typically, a two-foot section of retaining wall is going to be placed per day, allowing the no fines to harden overnight before placement of the next two-foot lift. When filling the block cores, the contractor will rod the no fines into the block, assuring that all the cores are properly filled. You'll also want to be very consistent at cleaning off the top of the unit prior to allowing, allowing the material to harden. So depending on the block facing type that you have, you want to make sure your construction sequencing is proper and adequate for the application and the no fines concrete. In this slide, you can use, see the use of fab, fabric wrap around the no fine section, and they've done a good job of cleaning off the top of the block. Here's a finished wall cross section. You can see the wall facing, the no fines concrete, filter fabric wrapped around here, and then eight inches of impervious material on top of that, just like you do on a standard wall design. If you're interested in using no fines on your next retaining wall installation, please reach out to myself or visit our website for our general no fines brochure and mixed design specifications. Local concrete suppliers, typically have experience in these mixed designs and can be valuable resource for pricing and technical support. No finds wall designs are a viable site solution when standard geogrid design just won't work. Using no finds is going to be more expensive because of the cost for materials and the cost associated with the installation of no finds out in the field. It can also lengthen wall construction time. Talk with your local Keystone representative for guidance on installation costs. Thank you for watching our Tech Talk number seven. If you have any questions or need resources, please contact me or visit our website at keystonewalls.com.